What's up dudes, Max here. We're back and another trailer has dropped for Street Fighter V featuring the latest DLC character, Falk. Or Falke. Or Falky. I still don't know. This character we've only seen very little of from the previous trailers. The initial launch trailer for Street Fighter like Season 3 had a little snippet of her when she was next to Ed. And I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, quote unquote brutally honest. I don't know much about her and my interest levels in this character is relatively low. For a lot of stuff, I only usually make reaction videos for things I'm genuinely really interested in, but I'm getting huge requests for anything that's Street Fighter V related, and especially Falk, everyone's like, where's the Falk reaction? What's going on? I don't have a lot of preconceived notions going into this, and I'm gonna try to leave myself with an open mind in terms of how she looks and how she plays and give you a straight shot answer, what I'm thinking and feeling in the time, but am I initially excited for her? Not really. However, Street Fighter V did have a recent balance adjustment update that does have me very interested in the game, especially with how one character has distinctly changed, which is Ziku. Or is it Zeku? Or Zeku? Either way, Captain Ninja Strider-Man looks friggin' awesome now, and he essentially has access to the tools and transformation abilities that I really wanted him to have when he first came out, which ultimately led to me kind of thinking him to be a dry character and not that much fun. Now I see what he can do, and this shit looks really cool, and I, I desperately want to jump into Street Fighter V and get some time with him, because it's Strider in a modern Capcom game outside of actually being Strider, and the nod still just makes me really happy, so we're gonna have to check that out. Alongside the Captain Commando Nash costume and the Rathalos Ken, I think all that stuff is really cool, and it's the little bonus things in Street Fighter V that are making me happy. But enough of that, let's get on and check out this trailer. I'm immediately getting flashbacks of watching the DiCapri trailer. Immediately. She's got, she almost look like, is like Kalik like wow, holy hell. What the hell, is it a gun? Does she shoot people with a staff? Dude, this character looks very King of Fighters like. Well, that's an interesting costume. She looks, I know, I don't know, there's something about the way she's moving, it just reminds me of a KOF character, and I know like there's KOF characters that are very similar to this, but at the same time, she looks a lot different than the usual Street Fighter V character, because her animations are super reserved. Won't miss. Oh my god, she just golf clubs you up to the sky. Hmm. I don't know what this costume is, but I don't know why they spent so much time showing it off. Uh, I really didn't like the all white looking costume. Wait a minute, now that we're looking at this, from this point forward, uh, oh no, this is the season one and two characters. I was about to say, from this point forward, the things we really have to look forward to are especially like Sagat and Cody and stuff, which are the two that I'm really looking forward to. I... I don't know much what to say about Falk. Um, I mean, I'll check her out when she comes out in terms of the story mode and like combos, but... I, I, I'm not gonna say I was too thoroughly impressed with the trailer. Um, I'm curious to see what other people are saying, but at the same time, she definitely doesn't have as much flourishing animations and movement as a character like Minot, which also came out relatively not that long ago. Um, she reminds me of this season's Colleen, which was kind of like a dry character, not in terms of like gameplay, they can do interesting things, but in terms of visual presentation, it was like, oh, okay, she chokes ice. And this girl is like, oh, okay, she whips you with a staff. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little lukewarm on the entire thing. Like I said, I don't think she looks specifically bad, but nothing about that got me like super jazzed. Even gameplay-wise, all the staff stuff looked kind of reserved in her animations. So uh, it really looked like some Billy Kane stuff going on there. I'm really curious how people are going to react to this for the most part because. Uh, a lot of people definitely got back into Street Fighter V after the Season 3 changes and everything that's been continuing with the season now. And I just want to see, I just want to see Cody and Sagat. I think they're going to save that stuff for like E3 and EVO where the audience is going to be the biggest because those are the biggest characters that everyone wants to see. And I do genuinely love their redesigns, but I think after seeing this, I'm probably even more excited to go back and play more Ziku. Zeku. Captain Ninja Man Strider. I'm gonna try to get that done in the next week or so to go back and play a bit more because um, I want to get familiar with the game again now that Ziku is legit crazy and crazier than he was before. But is Falk gonna be the one that's gonna make me jump back and be super jazzed? No, uh, I think she looks okay. And I'm curious to see what you guys think about the character as well. 
As always, dudes, thank you a ton for watching. I'll be back with more updates as soon as possible. But at the same time, there hasn't been a lot of fighting game stuff, if not consistent uploads over the past week or so. And I would like to go over that with everyone in a video that kind of commemorates the fact that we got 800,000 subs and I'm just trying to keep up with that number. Uh, it means a ton that you all are here once again, and I'm going to try to be a bit more consistent with these uploads and getting gameplays out and updates and everything like that because I know all of you guys deserve to have that stuff, and I definitely want to make you all happy. So thank you dudes a ton for watching. I'll be back with more as soon as possible. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.